Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Geeky Gangster here. Come on, check us today with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be starting a new series, I guess. Although I've done a couple videos kind of on this topic in the past, and it's just being an epic Trumpster. So, boys, today we are going to be comparing liberal and Republican women. Now, before you call me the bigot, this is only in defense to liberals who, as a strong argument point, say that we have sex with our cousins and that our women are ugly and uh, Nazis can't get girlfriends, that sort of stuff. So, in only defense of that and only in to, to end defense of Republican women everywhere, I'm going to be comparing the two women and of course, I can't judge women because I'm not a bigot myself. But what I can do, I believe, I don't know. I haven't uh, asked a Democrat lately about what I can't and can't do in a society. But, uh, because I'm a white male, that just go terrible for me. But um, I can't, I believe I can give you guys the evidence and you guys can judge for yourselves. So that's what we're going to be trying to do in today's video. Now, first of all, let's just talk about the looks. And guys... Um, you guys are going to be seeing some pictures of both uh, Democratic and Republican women as I talk about them. And obviously, just as like I'm talking about the Democratic women, pictures of famous Democratic women will uh, pop up. And when I'm talking about Republican women, Republican women will pop up on the screen. And so there's not going to be any trickeration. I'm not going to put Democrats in with the Republicans. I'm not going to put De Republicans in with the Democrats. None of that. I simply Googled uh public figures and based on their political views and yeah so let's just talk, begin talking about their uh their appearances alrighty so first of all let's talk about democratic women liberal women are some of the sexiest women you'll ever find I do not love a 500 pound woman that's why so many of them are getting raped by these celebrities that have millions of dollars and are about to uh be entered into very powerful roles and then all of a sudden uh they raped 10 women 45 years ago and, and you just see more and more of these cases and that's obviously because democratic women are so absolutely beautiful i mean look at these faces look at the haircuts wait isn't it just so sexy i would love to get up in those walls you know what i mean it's just like the sexiest thing you could ever see in your entire life. Every single day, I wake up and I instantly just get on my knees and um say a prayer. I don't know where you guys are going with that. Jeez, I'm not gay or anything. Uh, <laughs> no, but for real, guys. I say a prayer that I can get a uh, democratic woman because as you can see by these pictures, they're just so beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I, I would do anything for a democratic woman, honestly. And they're just such sexy human beings. Just, wow. Could you even say anything else? Just the figure, the haircuts, the facial fig like. The fa the facial features. These women. I can't even talk right because this is a, such a ridiculous statement to make. But you guys can be the judge of that for yourselves. Aren't these women just the most beautiful women you have ever seen? Now moving on to Republican women. Wow, ugly thoughts I must say. Just the most ugliest women, you know, the kind of women that you might want to call a female dog. But since you respect all the women, you refer to them as your male dog. D-A-W-G. What? What's up, dog? Now, you buy your dog's drinks because drinks are very epic. And of course, I want to be talking about alcoholic drinks, more or less Dr. Pepper. As you can see, I have three Dr. Peppers just uh, sitting on standby, mainly because...
you know, we just went into a really personal story there. And I, I think I might need to consult a therapist about my Dr. Pepper consumption. Psych! Because Dr. Pepper's the best soda you could possibly drink. It's just black amazingness. Much like Republican women say about men. And what men they're into. That black amazingness, boys. <sighs> this is really... Uh, sad boy hours. I think I might go play some Fortnite and finish second place in a solo and throw my controller out of rage. And maybe go in my car and go 5 to 10 miles an hour above the speed limit down an empty country road where I know there won't be any cops because I clearly can't afford a speeding ticket at the current moment. But if I go down country roads fast, there typically aren't cops, and cops don't care if you speed down country roads. There's absolutely nobody traveling, but I mean, relatively speaking, it is fun to go fast, in my opinion. Of course, in some people's opinions, it could hurt your engine speeding up really fast. And also, it just could be really, really scary when your car goes really, really fast. But that's what we call beta democratic males, ladies and gentlemen. Republicans are known for liking their trucks. And why would you own a truck and go the speed limit? You literally own the biggest thing on the road and you're going the speed limit. Like, what is literally wrong with you? I mean, unless if you drive a Ford and you're worried about it breaking down. But, that's besides the point. We're comparing Republican and Democratic women here. So I want to get back to the picture that... These ugly, disturbing women, I mean, they, they make me want to puke. Just the ugliest women I've ever seen in my entire life. What, like, I don't even understand how you could be attracted to these women, really. I mean... Unless if you're a bigot, homophobic numerophobic women phobic uh xenophobic islamophobic alphabetical phobic atrophobic nazi then you don't like republican women because republican women are obviously very sexy not sexy my bad uh republican women are so disgusting they make me want to vomit nine times in the toilet and then get up and then realize that it wasn't quite over yet and then vomit again in my sink only to re question why am i even still here if god is going to make me vomit this many times why doesn't he just take me himself i mean at this point, I really have no intestines left, so I, I really should be going to the hospital. Because I've just thrown up ten straight times. Um, but the ho closest hospital is about ten minutes away. And it's nighttime and I'm by myself. And I don't really, really like driving at nighttime because what if, like, some weird little demon kid runs out into the middle of the street? I'm not trying to get that on my hands at all. Uh... You know, it's just, it's just so many different risks driving at night, really. When you look at it, there's so many more drunk drivers at night because day drinkers are weird and they choose not to go in public because typically they know they're weird. Um, unless if you live in Ireland, then I suppose it's a little bit different. But see, I live in America where we drink one or two Bud Lights while we're driving our tractors. But, you know, we don't really drive drunk, really. Um, and... You might say, well, Eric, that doesn't really make sense because we have one of the highest uh, drunk driving rates in the entire world. But I think it's just because our drunk drivers are more stupid, so they get caught on a higher rate. But I don't necessarily think that really plays out to the statistics of people driving drunk. Because who actually drinks nowadays? Drinking is for losers. Real men... 
eat Tide Pods and drink bleach and snort condoms. That's the drug of Generation Z, and that's the dope drug, you know what I'm saying. <sighs> I mean, sure, you might have a couple of Bud Lights because you're lonely and depressed and you can't find a wife, and your wife left you 12 years ago, but you, you don't really drink because drinking isn't cool anymore. Real men who go to clubs and get laid eat Tide Pods. Everybody knows that. I mean, let's just be honest. So, yeah, guys, I mean, Republican women are just so ugly because of all these reasons I've just mentioned. And I don't know why we're at the 10 minute mark in 30 seconds. Uh, it's, it's, I, I really hate myself, and I make myself, and I hate myself even more for making this video. And you might think, while well, he's talking in this really deep, monotone voice, like he just doesn't really care about what he's talking about. But trust me, guys, I really do. And that's why I'm showing you guys my right eye and the little bit of my bottom chin right there because um, I just care so much. And this video is just such an amazing video. I'm just gonna put so much effort into. And it's not just me trying to push out content, guys. Don't think that. But should I rest my chin up here and give you guys both my eyes? I, you know, whenever I show my eyes, though, people are always like, why are your eyes closed? Are you part Chinese or something? Okay, leave my small eyes alone. Leave them alone, boys. Like, you know, I can drag them down a little bit. But other than that, you know, I I I kind of like my eyes. I got hazel eyes. You know what I'm saying? Um, they they are a little bit Chinese. You can definitely see the slant in the very small eyes. And for those questioning if Chinese people can see all the way, I can testify to that they can't, because I can't. <laughs> um, not nah, J.K. I'm not like blind or anything. I don't need glasses, but it is. I don't, I don't know, like, I, I just kind of have those small eyes. I feel like this eye is also a, a little bit bigger than, like, this eye, which is weird. <sighs> for, for those of you who are nearsighted and are like, wow, was that a mega hat in the background? No, that red hat hanging on the wall right there, that's a St. Louis Cardinals hat. The St. Louis Cardinals are a baseball team. They were really good about five... 20 years ago they have definitely dropped off from getting rid of their first baseman Albert Pujols which is, Albert, which is a uh, Hall of Famer they traded him to the Angels for like no apparent reason and they basically went into total rebuilding mode but it, you know it's just that's just really sad boy hours out there in uh, San Louis uh, but <sighs> so what do you guys think do you guys think republican women are somehow better looking than democratic women he's obviously that's impossible i mean come on guys you gotta admit democratic women are just so sexy like republican women are so ugly What do you guys think, though? See, because I, I'm not, I'm not judging the women. I'm not, I'm not saying. Wait, what was this whole video secretly judging women? But I just decided to uh, say opposite of what I actually think to make it sound like I'm not judging them, but I actually am, just in a really weird way. I don't know, dude. That's one of the deeper questions in life. Uh, I'm going to go run to McDonald's and get a hot dog, though. Comment what you guys think down below in, in the comments. 